Okay folks, the Kotla volcano is back on watch this morning along with the Mount Cameroon volcano in western Africa where we saw some harmonic tremors and some incandescent material ejected yesterday. In Vietnam, there are three provinces currently under threat from the H5N1 bird flu. Uh, so far, it is just the fowl getting sick. And although all the earthquakes aren't shown here on this map, we did have a fair number of uh, moderately large earthquakes near the Caribbean and Cocos Plate region yesterday. Folks, another theory about where all this ambient radiation could be coming from. Now, undoubtedly, a lot is coming from Fukushima. However, there are a lot of credible sources and a lot of uh, good uh, evidence to suggest that a lot of radiation was in the atmosphere prior to the earthquake and Fukushima uh, tsunami. Now, how could this be? Well, folks, we know that the decay rates of elements are changing for whatever reason. Now, things like this mean a lot more for uranium and plutonium than they do for, say, carbon. Now, the equations that dictate the physical parameters of a nuclear reactor are, are almost unfathomably precise. And if they didn't get the decay rates correct, that could produce a lot of extra heat and a lot of extra problems and really be screwing up what's going on. I'll put this link below. Uh, we'll really let this guy take the story from here. This is a video uh, by Mr. Stone Clark. Uh, and you should really, really watch this as soon as you're done with this video. Coming over to the sun, folks, you can see that dark uh, corona hole-like feature in the southern portion of the sun. Uh, it is putting out a strong, fast corona hole stream, probably be here in two to three days. You can see the magnetic filaments just to the left and to the north of it. Uh, turning over the northwestern limb, which would be the top right of the sun as you look at it, we did have an M1 flare come out of solar active region 11410 last night. Uh, it did manage to get magnetically complex after a while, but it kind of waited until it was turning a limb, not much uh, danger there. As you can see, Mercury conjoining underneath the sun, you can see there was not a large coronal mass ejection, although we did have an electron flux. These electrons were probably accelerated um, by that M1 flare we had last night. Now, whether it's the M1 flare or the slightly higher than normal uh, solar wind speed uh, that's attributing uh, to the Canadian magnetometer and the heart magnetometer chain being uh, a little bit disturbed, we don't know, but the disturbances are not major. Folks, we showed you this yesterday and um, there's something you need to realize. Do you know where I got this? You need to realize who knows what and who thinks what about the American people. This was front page in the Tehran Times yesterday, folks. So, who wants the war? Think about that. Be safe.